Hi everyone! Just had a little moment of short-lived excitement. That's when you record a video and you go to play it back and there's something wrong with it. So I'm starting again. Uh, this is my Monday update. It's a little bit late. Um, there's been some things that have happened this week. I um, uh, went, uh, went off to try and, you know, help rescue some ducks um, one of the days. And um, also we've had a couple emergencies in the family. Um, so I've been taking care of those and everything's good though. That's the good news. Uh, and so I have a little piece here on the duck rescue. I made some commentary when I was getting in the car to go off and rescue them. So that is here. This morning, it's Saturday, and I got a call last night that uh, help is needed rescuing some ducks that were dumped. And they've been trying to rescue them all summer. Uh, I think it started out with uh, three or four ducks, and now there were like 23 because those ducks had babies and it's gonna be winter soon and they will die so we're gonna go and try to help these ducks today um i guess uh this will be in my update on monday so i'll be able to fill you in on what happened but wish me luck and i have a short clip of the ducks in their new home and um the group was able to get two of them Actually, um, one of the, the group members was able to throw some corn down and just reach down and pick up two of the ducks. Have to establish the hierarchy. What's that, honey? Yeah, that's the one Art uh, clacking over there. Yeah, I think one of them are. I don't know, Rhonda would have to tell us now. They won't survive down on the river. There are a lot of predators and there's nothing to eat and it's gonna get cold. So, you know, they can freeze, they can't fly, da da da. Anyway, so that that is going okay. Um, I have my H. Uh, Gigas uh, feeding that I wanted to share with you uh, here on, on my Monday update. So I'm going to insert that for you here. I am really excited about about this species and I look forward to setting up uh, a, an enclosure for it that will include um, an aquatic side so that it can go in the water if it wants to. That will be a really exciting project for the future. Also, another thing that I was able to capture this week was my vinegaroon molting. Imagine my surprise when I came home and I looked into the enclosure and I saw something white in there and I was like, oh no, what is happening? You know, at first it, it always seems a little scary when something's off at first glance. And, you know, being set up to think maybe that she was uh, gravid also made me excited thinking maybe there were babies, but it wasn't that, it was that she was molting. And I read that this means that she is not an adult yet. Maybe this was her molt into adulthood. Uh, last molt, I don't know. But the reason I was able to catch her, her molting this way and that she wasn't buried in a chamber was because she had been rehoused recently, I could tell, when I got her. And then when I got her home, I rehoused her. And I think she was too deep into her pre-molt to make a chamber. At that point so she was kind of stuck out in the open and beneath uh, two pieces of cork bark uh, and so that is why I just happened to get those pictures and I was very lucky to get them I think that it's pretty rare to see a vinegaroon molt and I got the very tail end she had already pretty much pulled herself out and was just sitting there
I'm also going to have an update on FISA. FISA is my Brachypelma hamori, um, and she's the one that had the fangs that were missing that I needed to feed by hand. I have an update on her coming out this week. There's going to be a couple surprises for you. Um, some are a little good, some are eh, but we'll see what that's about in a video that I will post this week. Also, I haven't seen any sign of my escapee. Uh, my, my tarantula I talked about um, last week that escaped, um, nothing. So we'll just, uh, let's not jinx it. Let's just hope that she's gonna show up on Halloween at midnight or something. Just just let's, let's keep it that, that way. Uh, the mask video. The mask video, I'm going to work on the mask tomorrow, maybe even late tonight. I have the materials that I need to start making the masks, which I'm going to do tomorrow and work on that tutorial and get that out at the latest on Wednesday because I want uh, you to be able to have that so that if you have children or someone you're gonna make a mask for, for Halloween, they'll have time to do it. I mean, really, you can do it in, in a day um, so that'll give you like a few days of the week and then maybe Saturday if you were going to go out on Saturday night. So I'm going to get that mask video up for you um, by Wednesday. Let's see, what else has happened? My um, sea species Bakma has molted and I can tell that it's gained some size and some color. So I'm really excited about that and I can't wait to see these out in the open. Might be doing some rehousing soon. I'm uh, thinking about it, so that might be on the horizon. Anyway, I really want to also tell you that I am really thankful for all of you uh, subscribers. I have I've gotten several new subscribers this last week, which is really exciting to me. I'm almost up to 300, um, and that's great. Um, thank you. I'm glad that I can provide some content that you're interested in watching. And let me know um, in the comments if there's anything that you'd like me to share or you'd like to see. I would love to share that with you. Thank you and have a great week.